Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dangerous, the hardest working man in comics. Ryan Seymour, King of Comic Town. Woohoo! We are here for another huge week. Yes. Oh my god. Once again, this is a five Wednesday month, yet each week is packed with the sauce. How much comics are you people making? And I say that respectfully. Yeah. Because I was reading some good stuff. I literally had to pull yeah, we've got, stuff, yeah, we've got stuff like a pile down, down here. here of stuff that didn't make the cut. Because that it's hard, okay? Yeah. I read a lot of good stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of good stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, all right. So, honorable mentions. We've got two that are the same. Yeah. And then one that's different. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to start? Uh, I will clear the deck for you to talk about Thor mm -hmm. by talking about Behemoth Comics. Stellar. Steambound number two. Uh, the first issue set us up in this world where it is kind of like a city that never ends. Mm -hmm. There are a billion rooftops. Mm -hmm. uh, and we start to get into how the city functions in this issue, uh, how there are cartels that make sure people are supplied with drugs that give them superhuman powers. And then there's That's the people does. who try to stop them. So it's kind of like D&D &D Miami Vice, <laughs> which I love. And it, it, the intrigue begins. Uh, we find out one of the characters has been, you know, been stalking another character because mm -hmm. That character knows where an, an, an ex, maybe a, mm. a former flame, is mm. living. And uh, there's going to be some kind of military cleansing of that building, and so they need to get out. Um, that's, yep. not, that's not small. It's not. It's not. It's not small at all. And the this Gamera hat, like, it looks like the love child of Gamera and a teddy bear. Oh, my God. That's that the is amazing. Yeah. But, yeah. It's but super, super unloving. awesome. loving. All at the same time. Yeah, it's super, super amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm digging it. Uh, it's a straightforward story. Uh, the action is super, super over the top. Mm -hmm. Very good, guys. Stellar. I love it. All right, <clears throat> I took on Thor number thirteen. Um, oh my god, legacy wise, seven thirty nine. Thor is getting up there. Yeah, man. like that's awesome. Uh, Donny Cage, Nick Klein. So we're in the midst of the prey story arc um it's part five and for those of you that don't know donald blake has been wrecking shop uh apparently he's acquired some level of power that he's not supposed to have yeah. but he's wielding it wielding it deftly okay um last issue we find like one person mm -hmm. who might be able to you know kind of call into question what donnie's doing yeah. um odin you yeah. know and we kind of pick up exactly where Odin has been and how this is going to move things forward to this next chapter, which is supposed to be the last chapter. And oh my goodness, thunder bees are cracking. Okay. Um, yeah, this next issue is going to be crazy. Nice. And I can't wait. Um, just to let you know, like, I really enjoyed this. So for it to only be on the acrylic side, or not on the acrylic side, let me say it like that, honorable mentions, that was a tough choice. Yeah. It was a tough one. Not going to lie. Okay. Right. Where you, yeah, where you want to go? Let's let's just rip the band-aid. Just rip it. Okay. You know that meme yeah. where, where the it's like the, after the football game mm -hmm. and, and the kids like, you know, in the first I thought they had us in the first half. I it's I I love Venice's work, Justice League number fifty nine. Yep. Um. But the second half, this, there's two stories in this one. Yeah. One your traditional Justice League, the other one's kind of like your Justice League Dark. Mm -hmm. The Justice League Dark story. <laughs> Was amazing. Super cool. Super cool. Lots of intrigue. Okay, so for the first story, um, it's, uh, let's see, Bendis, David Marquez. Good lineup, right? Yeah. Like, definitely good lineup. Second story, was it uh, Ram V? I yes. Think? Ram V, the artist is Zermonica. Sounds like a restaurant that I would definitely eat at. Yeah. 100%. Great steaks. Um, <clears throat> so <laughs> you knew what I was picking up and yeah. down. Um, okay. Let's talk about this. Okay. So this is the new infinite frontier version of the justice league. Yeah. Um, the image has gone around for a while, so we've known basically who the lineup is. Yeah. I am not wowed by the setup. Yeah. There's something missing here. And I don't know if it's intrigue. I don't know if it's, I mean, I don't know. Like, there's something epic that's supposed to be here that I'm not feeling. Like, I feel like everything is too grounded 
for Justice League. It, yeah. Okay, good. That's not just like me. no, no. It, it told, that's that's what I felt. Um, this new villain, I just the, his dialogue felt, right. yeah, like mm-hmm. not the epic kind of, mm-hmm. of of villain that you're gonna like, crap. We need the Justice League, and like they just kind of happen to show up because they do. Yeah, like there's not <clears throat> there's not enough there. There's not enough gravitas. Yeah, I didn't I didn't feel the need for the league in this one, and. You know, considering the character front and center here, uh, you start off with almost kind of pooing on the guy. Yeah. Which I was like, why? Like he's one of the big time heavy Thank hitters. Thank you. Thank you. You're treating him like he's slop. And I don't I don't I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this at all. Like Yeah, no. Yeah. It, I mean it's cool that the one character was in it. Yeah, like, yeah, that, that was super cool. Like, that was super cool. That was super cool. I enjoyed that. But that's, again, okay, so are we looking at it where, as a vehicle for characters that, you know, Bendis has created, he can make that shine, but the iconic hallmarks, he can't? Like, what is... Which is weird, because his work on New Avengers was so stunning. Well, okay, so let's, let's, let's break that down a little bit. Mm-hmm. New Avengers, by way of... Bendis, mm-hmm. and, and to a huge degree, what Avengers are all about is almost like a misfit ragtag. Yeah. Has he ever written to fans galore an iconic team and had it work with the iconic nature that they're supposed to have? Like, he's great at disassembling. Yeah. He's fantastic at disassembling. But what about maintaining the icon? Is he good at that? I don't know. What, what do you, either? What do you guys think? Let us know, because that's that's a real question. You know, sometimes some people's vibe and their angles is just not right for the thing. So maybe that's that's his. Yeah. But that second story, though, yeah, Rom V, you killed it. Mm-hmm. Just so good. Mm-hmm. It, it's Constantine. It's Zatanna. Mm-hmm. It's magic. It's high stakes. It's all the good. It's all oh, the good. And the way those two factions reacted. Oh, dude. And I'm not even like a big fan of the Justice League Dark, but I, I would be. Yeah. You, you can make me. You can, you know, bend me to your will. Say the right spell. Mm-hmm. I'll do it. Speaking of spells, <clears throat> The Bequest. New one from Aftershock. Tim Seeley. Freddie Williams II. This all is... right. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it. I'm not a friend of Freddie Williams' artwork. There's something about it that does not gel with me visually. It's too something. And I don't know exactly what the right phrase is. I don't know if I like things a little bit more polished. And it kind of has like too much of a sketchy vibe. Mm -hmm. Or something. Like something about it is temporarily off. Like it's got art from like the 90s. But like the production quality is from now. So it's all kinds of convoluted. And it just makes my brain hurt sometimes. I just can't. I didn't. I didn't. I just didn't. I'm curious if a different anchor. Like, oh, that's a good question. Like, like ooh, does, that's a really good question. Like, is it just the anchor? Like the 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 thing that's being brought to it? Because it, the energy of the art, right, fits the story. True. Which is this this incredible. There's there's a, like a D and D type universe, Very much so. and then there's an R universe, right? And there's a few people have figured out a way to punch a hole between the two. Boom! And if you've got access to magic, and you That's find kind of out brilliant. there's a machine gun mm-hmm. that can be used to kill a dragon, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, 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 guess what I'm gonna do? Yeah, guess what I'm gonna do? Um, like story wise, I really got into it. Story wise, yeah. it was it was ironically it was the art that really took me out. Um, and I say that respectfully because I know like Tim and, and Freddie have worked together on uh, Masters of the Universe and stuff like that. It just doesn't it doesn't sing for me. Yeah, but I can get with the story easy peasy. Um, but yeah, because that 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 ending group that was fun. Because I saw the flag and I'm like, ah, right? Is that what I think? Is that what I? Ooh. Oh, yeah, oh. it is. It is what I yeah, think. It is. That's right. <laughs> um, end well. I mean, you know, that's a that's a super dark. You know, sort of turn of magic here, um, but yeah, like there's something, there's something about it that just it doesn't get me. It doesn't get me, and that sucks because like the story, the story is really, really good. Yeah, 
Um, I think it's a very interesting concept of whether or not it's the inker. Freddy is the inker as well. I think he oh. usually inks his own stuff. Um, because like there's there's hints of like McFarlane esque. Yeah, no, I, like, but it might be a little too heavy handed for my liking. That's yeah, because I got like I I could see Spawn, yeah, type, yeah, like Capullo yeah. influence in there too. So I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's just I mean that's taste. That's taste. It's not saying that Freddie is a bad artist. That would be ridiculous and punch me in the throat if I ever did. Just not my cup of tea. Like if you love it. You should love this book because yep. it's definitely a good book. Yeah. Like Tim kills on the writing. Um, but yeah, like that's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it happens. It happens. Um, okay, moving to the acrylic. We've got yes. two that are the same, mm-hmm. one that's different. Where do you want to go? Okay, you, you made mention of. Yeah, I was going to go with that. Superman Red and Blue. This is an anthology. Um, <clears throat> much in the same way of, you know, Batman Black and White. Yeah. Um, let's run down the list. John Ridley, Clayton Henry, Brandon Easton, Steve Lieber, Wes Craig, Dan Waters, Danny, Marguerite Bennett, Jill Thompson. Yes. All of the yes. It's brilliant in mm-hmm. terms of the visual execution. Um, it's so fun to read these. However, however, I do have a however. Mm-hmm. There are a couple of stories in this one that I find interesting because I don't necessarily think that they paint Superman in the best light. He, as much as one might say like he's a bastion of hope, Mm -hmm. it's really interesting to see him arguably fail. Okay. And I think in some cases, some of these stories are rooted in his failure. And I think that's such a very interesting because he angle. just doesn't normally right. fail. Like, at all. And I don't know if I'm being super sensitive about the the presentation of yeah. that, which is fair. I might be. Um, but, yeah, I think that's, like, one of the more interesting things. The last two stories were my absolute favorites. Yeah. They were the ones where I was like, oh, y'all get this. Like, 100% y'all get this. I think the other stories are exploratory. So it's not really about, like, is this Superman or not. Yeah. It's just the creator's specific angle on Superman, which is interesting. Like, again, focusing on the failures of Superman is yeah. not common. So that's new ground. That's new places to tell yeah. stories. And I can't be mad at that. Yeah. Like, I can't at all. It was just very interesting to see this glorified, you know, colorful piece have any hints of the ineptitude of soups. I was like, wow, interesting pull. Yeah. All right. So this one is from Dark Horse Comics. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's called Orphan and the Five Beasts. And, oh, my God. Is right. that, wait, wait. Who did that? Uh, James Stoko. Okay. Okay. Right. Say less. Okay. So this is a story that this orphan has been raised in some kind of temple, mm-hmm. uh, and he's been taught. A form of martial, mystical martial arts okay. that has five focuses, and he's been sent on a quest. There have been all right. So bandit, bandit lords, we're going to sack this area. People in the villages were like, you know, teach us these things. So yes. the, the 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 head monk there is like, all right, I will teach each of you one of the five aspects. <gasps> yeah, awesome. yeah. So you know the kind of vibe that's going on here. Yes. All right. So take seven deadly venoms. Yes. But do it in like a ninja scroll style over the top anime. And this is what it is. Yeah, this man, man. it is so amazing. And it's just this this orphan who's been trained in like these super, super high level like mystical martial arts. And it's just gonna be him hunting down these five people and killing them. Why is this amazing? It's so good. I just I yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Just if you're a fan of Ninja Scroll. Uh, Vampire Hunter D, like all of those, like, <gasps> yeah, that looks beautiful. Yeah, it's so over the top. It just, it's it's amazing. Okay. So yeah, we got extras of those, right? I need one. Oh yeah. Okay, good. <clears throat> yeah, definitely gonna need that. Um, now this is a toughie because we have the beginning of a new new story and the end, end of, of an era. What do we do? Let's do ending first. Okay. And then end on the new. Yep. Okay. Issue five of Kick-Ass versus Hit-Girl. 
Okay. <clears throat> if I'm being honest, mm -hmm. I was terrified to read this. Yeah. I was terrified. Because now granted this is this is Niles Frusen playing in, in Mark Miller's, you know, toy box here. And sometimes Mark will take things in a way that is just ruthless. Yeah. And I was really terrified of how ruthless this might go. Mm -hmm. I was overtly satisfied yeah. with this book. Because it maintains the truth that each of these characters have in their in their in their in the way they are. Yes. And ended in a really positive sort of light. Right? Where there was a like because I didn't know how they I, I, I Right, you have these two characters. Yep. They're on a collision course. Mm -hmm. One thinks that the other has is robbing their friend of of everything they stand for. Mm -hmm. The other one's like, dude, you don't even know who I am. <laughs> like, come on, like, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Um, okay. Ugh. This though is pregnant right. with promise. Right. There is something that's gonna come from that. And I don't know what it is. I don't either. I don't either. But I'm so, so excited about what the potential of it could be. Um, kind of amazing. But yeah, this okay. <clears throat> so simply put, we know that kick ass. Um, patience is, you know, a mother back from, from wartime deciding to like, I don't know, kind of take over the criminal element yeah. of her hometown because the only way to stop it is to take control and, and divert where it's going to go. Like Minim bottom line, minimize the damage, right. maximize the, the good that can come from it. Boom. Right. It's a genius sort of, you know, ends equates to the means kind of, kind of scenario. Yeah. And then you have Hit Girl, who just doesn't play that stuff. She like, doesn't. She's not into your excuses. She doesn't want your reasoning, your rationale. Yeah. There's, um, there's no shade of gray. No, like it's none. Like, you know, you're bad or you're good. Period. Okay? Mindy is not here for the talky-talky. She's here for the shoot you in the facey. And clearly, you know... Where does a 10-year-old get a rocket launcher? Don't ask these questions, man. <laughs> like, these are these are... <laughs> These are the questions of mortal men, and she is not that. She's okay? not, not that at all. Um, it's like this, uh, the from Lord of the Rings, where like, oh, no man may kill me, and then like the helmet comes off, and it's just like, Mindy. It's a woman. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Except it's it's Mindy. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> and she calls you the c word, like on your way out. You're just so you're so upset because you've been completely disrespected by a small child wielding blades. Um, but yeah, like this, there was so much cool about it because, like, you you definitely follow the track of Hit Girl has a mission, mm -hmm. but this rings with a bit of personal because it, yeah, she knows the original Kickass, yeah. and so she's like, "Yo, you can't be, you can't, you definitely can't be doing what you're doing, yeah, and besmirching my homie's memory. Yeah. Like, now you gotta die." This was this was a lot. Yeah. I was I was. Super terrible. Like I'm so serious. It, it I was like, don't. Man, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like how this is gonna end. I'm not gonna like how this is gonna end. And there was, <clears throat> there was a moment, mm -hmm. like I was definitely like, oh yeah. no. Yeah. But it was actually very cleverly dealt with. It was genius. Absolutely genius. Um, that was a that was fun. Yes. As the tour of of Hit Girl stories, um, and then the Kick Ass stories. Of patients have like continued the story. It's it's really cool to see that at play. Yeah, because they are definitely marks, mm -hmm. but then not his yeah. all at the same time. Very different vibes, fun stuff across the board. Oh, yeah. It's it's what I aspire to allow other creators to do with my stuff one day. Not yet, not there yet. One day, but one day, one day. How do we describe? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. not yet, not yet. I'm, okay. Okay. I'm so glad that this had variant cover backup. Oh my god! Because like it looked cool, but I didn't realize you didn't how know. cool. You didn't know. How could so, you know? Uh, yeah, there's no way to know. But I but I did the math. I'm like, okay, order this many. You'll have this many variants. There blah, you blah, go. Blah, blah, there blah. you go. <clears throat> and we get it in. Polls are done. I sit down to do the reading for uh, for this week's episode. And oh my gosh! <laughs> Ultra mega. Number one, um, James Heron, writer, artist, colorist, Dave Stewart. It's from Skybound. Represent. Um, this is a meaty, 
It's thick. a square bound, seven ninety nine cover price. Yeah, yeah. But it is there's there's not a single ad, so it is no. a mini trade paperback. Yeah, it is content. <sighs> okay, there's a lot of kaiju books out right now. Sure, sure. It's kaiju's just, big. Yeah, kaiju's big. Kaiju's the new zombies. How do you stand out? In order to, you know, how do you make people care yeah. about what you're doing? Like this. You build mythos. You build stakes. Mm-hmm. You take an understanding of characters and concepts. And you get us lulled into a false sense of security that we know anything that's going to happen. Because it's the way things always work right? in a kaiju story. Sure, sure. And then you cock back and swiftly kick us in the undercarriage. Yeah. Oh, my god! In the greatest way possible. And I have, was made to care about the characters. So much! That's the thing that, that, that got me was instead of your normal, like, here's your, here's your Ultraman type character, and then here's... There was a reason yeah. to give a crap. Yeah. Wait, no, no. Let's... let's no spoilers. There are versions that are true ancillary, mm-hmm. and I cared about them. Yeah. Like the way it went down with very little information. Yeah. I still cared about them. Yeah. That's talent. Like, that's such a cool way to tell stories that you get, like, such meaty goodness. And, oh, it's, it's, yeah. it's complex. Yes. Like, you have to pay attention. Otherwise, you get lost in the sauce a little bit. Um, the art is just gorgeous. You can smell it. Yeah, it really is a smelly book. Like, like yeah. There's, yeah. yeah. There's uh, a wetness to it. Yeah. That is amazing. Um, if there's anything that I would compare to American manga, this is that magic. Um, it's... It's not for kids. Don't no. Even, like no 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 no. Like no, 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 no. oh like I saw Godzilla. I love Godzilla. Yeah, no, no Johnny. No, 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 this is not no, for you. Johnny. This is no 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 no. This no. is a a a an adult's palette. Yes. And it's it's a it's a simple story. Like there are these people that have been given a cosmic gift that when a in, in this universe a person can randomly be infected with some kind of cosmic thing that turns them into a giant monster. Mm-hmm. And As then, one does. And then there's the three people. That have been given a gift to sense when that's going to happen, mm-hmm. and then transform into a a giant monster fighting demigod. And so, of course, there's a big monster fight in this city. So good. But it's not just a monster fight. No, no. There's there's stakes. There's it, stuff. It, yeah, it's yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to say you it can't, without. You can't man. Because it's such. Like, a, I've never. The hook is like something out of like an epic poem or a myth mm-hmm, mm-hmm, where like mm-hmm. the hero at the at the point is like, you know, it, it's so clever. It's so good. It's so good. What I love about this is, okay, so as a story, we're thrust into a spot where you can either go backwards to get more information mm-hmm. or forward to get more information. And... You are compelled across the board to want to know what. Yeah. Like, bottom line, what is happening? And it is some of the coolest, coolest, coolest stuff I've seen in comics in at least a week. Like, and I don't mean that, like, silly. Like, I read some good comics last week. So, to, like, really see something that kind of gets you, like, oh, crap. Like, this is why people make comics. Yeah. Like, right here. Oh, that next issue piece. I can't wait. Is it's it's such is a it April yet? It's, it's got to right. be almost April, right? It's cr- It's creeping up there. It's, it's got to be right. Like we oh. got to be almost there. Dang! Is it like there's several books this week that that so good. are genre pieces in mm-hmm, a way, mm-hmm, but the mm-hmm. but the thing that sets them apart is it's this amazing story that just happens to be in a kaiju story mm-hmm. or in a fantasy setting. So dope. Yeah. Oh, let me let me put this up there so you yeah. can see that goodness. Because goodness is what that is. I yeah. Ultra mega. Yeah. 
Eight. I need toys. Give me a place. Right? That's something that could be totally set up for that. And oh. it's got a it's got a bleed though. Oh my like gosh! I need, I need the bleeding version to do that. Oh the this oh, yes that yes. scene dude the, that was. How do you animate static images? But I felt like you, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was fantastic. Just read it, okay? Just just read it, and you'll know. So good, you'll know. Um, I think that's going to be my my question to you guys. Okay, so out of the three, mm -hmm. which one would you rather be? Either based on your favorite color, what they seem to pull off, which one would you rather be? I don't know. I, I really don't know which one I would prefer. Yeah, I don't know. I think the green one, we only saw like a little yeah. hint. So, I don't know. I don't know. So, which which one? Which one would you rather be? Um, that's your question. Yeah. Oh. So, I pray that you enjoyed this episode. Mm -hmm. um, if you did, hit that like button with the thumbs up because mm -hmm. we need that validation. And... Uh, if you want more of this, we do this each week. You can subscribe and hit the bell. And that way you'll know when we drop this awesome knowledge. Boom, boom. Telling you the good stuff that you need to be reading. Because yeah. you need to be reading it, y'all. Yeah. Read it. So much good stuff. Do it now. Go to the shop. If you're at the shop, turn around and buy some more books. If you already bought your books, buy more. Yeah. Because you never have too many comics. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> too <laughs> many? <so> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Where do they do that at? Oh, my God. <laughs> too many comics. <laughs> 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 <laughs>